Yo, 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 guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and today, we are going to be recapping the top 8 decks from the Salt Lake Regional Championships. This was just posted on Pokemon, and, well, at the time of me recording this, it was posted yesterday when you see this, but we're going to recap these decks, we're going to go check out what decks are there. I haven't actually looked yet, all I know is the 8 decks in front of me, but I haven't checked the Seniors or uh, Juniors Division, which I'm kind of curious, I want to see if there's any new deck ideas that popped up, who knows. Um, but yeah, the Master Division, here we go, let's hop right into it. So, straight off the gate, we have Volcanion winning the entire tournament. Pretty much no surprise there. Volcanion is such a good card with Volcanic Heat. <laughs> I mean, when you think about all the Decidueye that got played, it's like, yeah, Volcanion's gonna be good. How much Decidueye was played? Oh, wow, two made it to the top eight. Interesting. So yeah, Volcanion winning the event, beat out a Turbo Darkrai deck. Wow, he plays Hammer. I, that's, hmm. This is one of the first Vulcanian lists that I've actually seen that plays Enhanced Hammer. That's interesting. That's a cool tech idea. I think that's a pretty good tech idea for Vulcanian. Uh, he doesn't play Salamence like the other Vulcanian lists. So it's just three babies, four Vulcanian EX. Yeah, no Salamence, no nothing. You know, one Fisherman, one Olympia, one Ranger, Scorched Earth. He plays Parallel over Skyfield, which is also pretty interesting. Um, so this is a pretty interesting Vulcanian list, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty cool that this is the one that won. I can't not talk right now. I just finished recording a video which you guys are going to see either on Monday or Sunday. And I cannot talk right now. My voice is like gone. But yeah, that's crazy. So, let's look at this. Another Turbo Darkrai deck. Turbo Darkrai taking that second place. Four Darkrai EX. Two Eveltal. Two Shaman, one Hoopa EX. So yeah. It's your standard Darkrai list. Let's check out his items and what he had in here. Uh, you know, Enhanced Hammer was in there, Spearing Shares, Max Luxury. So yeah, just a very standard Darkrai deck. He plays Flare Grunt, which is one card I haven't seen many Turbo Darkrai decks play. But that is cool that he does play the Team Flare Grunt. That is always a pretty disruptive card. So yeah, pretty standard Turbo Darkrai deck. Uh, let's check out the Decision White Plume deck. I know there's a lot of ones popping up with like more different techs. Like Mewtwo, for example. I saw, I know there's one like with Jolteon and Espeon EX. But this one's got Decidueye, Feather Arrow... Daytrix, Rowlet, Vileplumes, you know, Shaman, Lugia. So he plays two Lugia. He does play Mewtwo. The Mewtwo is a good tech because it's good against Espeon, GX, and it's also good against Mewtwo Y. So that's why a lot of players have been using the Mewtwo's in their decks. So that's a pretty good tech. Uh, two Lugias. So he doesn't play Taurus or anything in this. So it's, yeah, it's four Decidueyes. The bot. Yeah, pretty standard Decidueye plume list. It looks like any other crazy techs. Four ends, four Sikas. So yeah, nothing really like two tech idea in there. But yeah. Go to this Turbo Darkrai deck. So yeah, this is basically... I think this might actually be the same list as the other one. No, the other one had two experience shares. Okay, so yeah, this is just another standard Turbo Darkrai list. Two Silent Labs, one Flare Gun, one Olympia. Yeah, pretty simple Darkrai list. It's a pretty good list. Obviously, it took fourth place in Masters. No, duh. Uh, let's check out this other Turbo Darkrai one. Same thing, basically. Yeah, it's this one is the exact same list as the other one. So, yeah. So let's go here to the other Darkrai Giratina deck. A Darkrai deck, but it ain't Turbo Darkrai. It's Darkrai Giratina. Uh, so, two Giratinas, you got the Salamence, three Darkrais, yeah. Four Double Dragon, ten Basic Dark, and yeah, all his items and stuff look pretty normal. No, like, crazy tech options in there. Parallels, Max Lixers, Ultra Balls. Two Ropes. A lot of people do play a lot of Ropes now in their Darkrai lists I've seen, so there's that. He plays Experience Share, Bells of Switch, yeah, so... Pretty good list, and here we go, we got another Decidueye Plume list, and it's basically going to be like the last one, but he actually plays two Lugias, he doesn't play like any other attackers, that's interesting. Like, he doesn't have like any other, like, you know, like Meowth, no Mewtwo, no Tauros, no Beedrill, just two Lugias, three Shamans, a 2-2 two -two Vile Plume, four Decidueyes, four Rowlet, four Daytrix, and yeah, there you go, I guess that's that. So we'll go to the Seniors Division, I have not checked this out yet, so let's see what the Seniors Division is was cooking up let's see if there's gonna be any cool decks here i think seniors and uh, juniors has a lot of gardevoir oh decidueye so this one doesn't play vile plume in it so it's got decidueye uh two lugias two meowth hmm so yeah he plays the meowth in here meowth is really good at like knocking out like other pokemon on the bench for 50 it's a pretty good a card uh, it's also not ex uh, tauros is in here so yeah, this is a Decidueye list that does not play a single Vile Plume in it. That's a pretty cool thing. Um, spoiler alert on what tomorrow's uh, video is going to be. It is going to be a video on a Decidueye deck. It's not any. It's not. It's kind of similar to this one. Kind of not really though. It's a little more different of it. It's a. It's a unique take on Decidueye that I haven't seen you know being played yet. So that's what that's for. 
Um, but yeah, just why winning in the in the June in the uh, seniors. Go here to the Eveltal Garb deck. So yeah, this Eveltal Garb does play Mewtwo for Eveltal EX. So yeah, he only he doesn't play like you know the uh, the Fright Night one, and he doesn't play Oblivion Wing in here. So he just plays four Eveltal EX to hit you with, uh, and yeah, everything else looks pretty standard. One hacks, two in, two Lysander, four Sikas, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, a lot of Evil Tall Garb decks now have taken out the Fright Knight and just straight up ran like four Evil Tulls. I've seen a lot more of that, so this guy did opt to do that. So another Turbo Dark Ray list, probably the exact same, yeah, it's just like the exact same. He plays three Silent Labs over the two, one, oh no, no, he does, no, he plays three Silent Labs, one Parallel. That's pretty crazy, a lot of stadiums. Um, one Hammer, Mayo, yeah, so, it's a pretty good list, got third place, a Mega Ray list, what kind of Mega Ray deck? Ooh, he plays Espeon GX in his Mega Ray. That's pretty cool. Um, I haven't seen that before in a Mega Ray deck. That's pretty cool. Yeah, three Rayquazas, three Rayquazas, yeah, four Shaman, two Hoopa. So yeah, this guy's Mega Ray list actually plays Espeon in it. That's pretty cool. I may make a video on this. I'm probably going to make a video in the following week on one of these decks. Um, I don't want to do like one like the Turbo Dark. That's kind of boring. I might even do one on this. This is a pretty cool idea. Three Rayquazas, one Espeon. Obviously, it's like a counter to Mewtwo and stuff, which uh, we haven't seen a single Mewtwo deck. Is, did he, Mewtwo even make these? It didn't. Yeah, so. I may even make a video on this uh, Rayquaza Espeon deck. It looks pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, it's a pretty unique list. Um, definitely might make a video on it. Uh, Evel Told Garb once again. This one... Yeah, it's like the same. No, he does. Yeah, he plays one Fright Knight. He goes with a 2-1 Garb line from the looks of it. One Mewtwo. And yeah, it's a pretty simple list. Kind of like the other Eveltal list that we just looked at. And let's check out what else is here. This is Quad Lapras. My boy Quad Lapras. The deck. The deck. I want to make a video on this too, but I feel like it might be too late for anyone to really care. You know what I mean? So I don't know if I'll make one. I do want to do that Mega Ray deck. That was pretty cool. Uh, so, Quad Lapras. Four Lapras. You got the Wob in here. Wob is obviously good when you're playing against Decidueye Plume. Yeah. So, yeah, you got all this stuff. Does he play Puzzle of Time in his list? Like, I've seen other ones play. It doesn't look like he does. No, he doesn't. So, two Chief Mocket's Handiwork. Two Skull Grun. Lysander, Flare Grun, Sycamore. Wow, yes. It's a pretty cool Quad Lapras deck. Quad Lapras is always a cool deck. Um, pretty annoying to play against, but pretty cool. And we got a Turbo Dark Ride deck. Yeah, just like the other ones, I guess. He plays two Eveltals. He plays one Eveltal EX in his list. That's pretty cool. I mean, this thing isn't bad in Darkrai because when you do get it, you can put on some good pressure with Eveltal EX. You know, when you build it up for Evil Ball, you can, you know, knock out stuff that do rely on having a ton of energy on him. So I can see why he plays the Eveltal. And it's a pretty cool tech idea in uh, Turbo Darkrai. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, it looks the same as all these other two labs, one parallel. So, yeah. All right, then the final one. The only Decidueye Plume that made top 8 in Salt Lake. And what is this one? He plays Espeon. He's got Lugia. He's got Meowth. It's a pretty good Decidueye Plume. The cool thing with Espeon that I really like about it is that you can actually use it with Decidueye to de-evolve other Decidueye decks. That's kind of why everyone likes the Espeon. So that's pretty cool. So Espeon is definitely a cool tech in these Decidueye Plume decks. It can win you some games. Not gonna lie. Espeon is really cool to see in these Decidueye Plumes. It's the only one that made top 8. Interesting. So a Decidueye deck won in juniors or seniors, sorry. It won in seniors. It didn't have Bioplume, and the only other Decidueye Bioplume deck made it all the way down to eighth place in this tournament. That's pretty crazy. Um so here we go to the juniors division. Have not checked this either. Is there gonna be any other cool decks like that? Rayquaza, Espeon deck. Let's find out if there will be or not. Line Croc Carbink, right off the bat. Three Line Croc GX, four Rockara, three, three, two Shays, six fighting, four strong. Yeah, nice. Hey, yeah, and he actually has weakness policy in here. Probably, obviously, because, like, Lankrock being weak to grass. Decidueye just runs it over, so he's got that to make sure he doesn't have to deal with that weakness. That's a pretty cool tech idea. There's a lot of grass right now with, like, Lorantis, with, like, Sobaleo, and, like, obviously, you got Decidueye, which is very popular. So, interesting. I'm kind of glad this one in Junior's Division. That's actually pretty cool. What did it beat out? How did it beat out a lot of Darkrai? Yeah, a few Darkrai. A lot of Rayquaza, though. So, let's check them out. Okay, this is another Water Rayquaza deck. It's got Manaphy. It doesn't have the Glaceon like the other ones I saw, but yeah, this one has like Rayquaza, Four Shades. Yeah, this one has just got the Manaphy, just so you can give your Rayquaza for your treat. So pretty cool. Uh, he's got Buddy Buddy, Floatstone, Rayquaza, Spirit Link. So yeah, pretty simple list. There's other Rayquaza lists. I'm surprised the Lycaroc deck managed to beat out all these Rayquaza decks. So that means this Mega Ray deck ended up losing to a Lycaroc deck without Jolteon. 
that is really interesting. I'm not gonna lie. That is, that's a real. I kind of is that recorded anywhere? I really want to see how that ended out. I that, I wanted. I want to see that game. I am really surprised that Linecroc beat out a Rayquaza deck. I'm not saying Linecroc's bad against Rayquaza. I'm not saying this player's bad. I'm just saying that's a pretty unfavorable matchup for Linecroc. That's pretty cool. I want to see how that played out. If that's recorded anywhere, someone tell me in the comments. Uh, Mega Ray again. This one has Salamence, Tauros. Well, it's got a lot more text in it. It's got like Salamence, Tauros, Volcanion. Steam up lets you put the fire in the discard so you can get it back with your Mega Turbo. That's why that's in there. This is a pretty good Rayquaza list. Ended up losing out to this Rayquaza list. Interesting. So this one lost. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Uh, then we go to the Mega Gardevoir deck. Mega Gardevoir, one of my favorite decks right now. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, it's pretty much another, you know, Guardy Dragon deck, just like I covered the other week. He plays Ernie's Break in his list, though. So that's cool. Two Giratinas, two, three Double Dragon, ten Fairy. Yeah, pretty cool Gardevoir list. Took in that fourth place in the Juniors Division. And we go to the bottom four. Turbo Darkrai with Carbink. Wow, okay. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, that's, okay, that's pretty cool. That's a cool tech, because obviously, when you run into stuff that play, like, Flare Guns and stuff like that, that that's a pretty good card to have. Because, you know, against that Minecraft deck, this Carbink would have been even better, just so you wouldn't lose any energy. That's a really cool tech idea. Um, did he play any Silent Labs? He plays one Silent Lab, but that's a really cool idea to play this Carbink in his, in his list. So, like, if you play against, like, a Mill deck, you wouldn't have to worry about, like, any energy getting discarded. That's, hmm. That's pretty cool. <laughs> not gonna lie, that's a pretty cool tech idea in these Darkrai decks. I have not seen that before in Darkrai. I haven't even seen that carbon that much. This Turbo Darkrai list got three Veltals, four Darkrais, 13 Dark. Wow, he's got a lot of Dark energy in his deck. Yeah, geez, it's a pretty good list. We got another Quad Lapras from the looks of it. Yeah, kind of like the other one we just uh, saw. Two Skull Grunts. He doesn't play two Team Rockets. Hey, he worked on the other one. But yeah, this is the one that plays uh, Puzzle of Time, because I've seen some... While I press list, do play Puzzle of Time in them, and this one is one of them, so he does play the Puzzle of Time in his list. Yeah, cool. And the final deck is another Mega Ray deck, and let's see. So it is a Metal Mega, Mega Ray with Megirna. Interesting. He probably really would have wanted to have played against the Gardevoir deck then, with that Metal, uh, with the Metal, like he does Megirna, which is great against Gardevoir. He probably wish he played against that. So that's a pretty cool list. Yeah, those are the lists. Not as much as Decidueye Plume. There was no Decidueye at all in the Juniors Division. There was two in here. Only one Decidueye Plume. And a Decidueye deck did Wimbo without Plume. And then you had the Masters Division, which did have a lot of deck. That's pretty cool. Um, a lot of cool deck lists there. I kind of want to... I'm probably going to cover at least one or two of these. I might do the Linecroft one, and I might do the Mega Ray one. Those are probably the two that I'm most... that I'm looking into doing. I might even do the Decidueye one. I don't know. We'll see. But thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my PGCGO content and help me on the road to 2,000 subscribers, and don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, and comment down below your thoughts, leave me comments down below what your thoughts on these decks were, pretty cool turnout of what decks ended up making top 8 and what didn't, so thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys on the video, peace out.